Time now for the morning rush. Albuquerque police are looking for a couple they believe to be involved in a deadly hit and run. 15 year old Manny Tapia was walking home from the movies Wednesday night when a truck hit him. Police say the truck is a dark blue GMC Sierra pickup that may have been stolen. Tapia's mom says he was a student at Cibola High School. If you know anything about this case, you're asked to call APD. Connor. There will be moisture south of I-40 for the next couple of days. I'm hoping between uh, today and tomorrow, Silver City or Alamogordo could pick up one or two showers. Otherwise, it's just not going to be happening for places like Albuquerque, north and the, the northern mountains. We'll be sticking with dry, very hot conditions. Crystal? The feds are taking on the case of a woman charged with starting a devastating apartment fire. Sherilyn Martinez was arrested on Friday after police say she started a fire at apartments near Montgomery and San Pedro, displacing nearly two dozen people. Yesterday in court, the state dropped its charges and handed the case over to the U.S. attorney. This morning, police are searching for a man they say walked out of a Cabela's with a rifle. Surveillance photos show the suspect at the Albuquerque store on Monday. Police say he walked straight to the firearms department, shoved the 22 rifle down his pants, and took off in a white Honda Civic. Today, a judge is set to decide whether to keep multimillionaire Jeffrey Epstein behind bars until trial. The 66-year-old asked if he could live in his Manhattan home under supervision. But prosecutors say Epstein is an extreme flight risk because of the properties he owns in and out of the U.S. Epstein pleaded not guilty to charges of sex crimes against minors. A young woman is in jail accused of recording a 13-year-old girl being sexually abused, then spreading it on social media. Police say the two girls went to the Lotus nightclub last year and met up with men who gave them alcohol and drugs. 19-year-old Yareles Cespedes was arrested yesterday on charges of manufacturing and distributing child pornography. This morning, experts are warning people not to use a popular app developed in Russia. Face app allows users to make themselves look older and younger. People are cautioned the app may have access to all the photos in their phones. Democrats are also calling for an investigation into the app, raising concerns about the 2020 election. Today marks one year since an Albuquerque woman died in a crash by a suspected drunk driver. Now, last year, 29-year-old Alyssa Barboa was heading home when a driver crashed into her. This was near Pennsylvania and Comanche, then fled the scene. She will be remembered with a memorial tonight at 630 at Valley High School. Former softball teammates will be retiring her number. Connor. Got the monsoon meter today at a two. We are looking for some moisture south of I-40 today, which will generate showers over the Kila and Sacramento Mountains. Otherwise, for Albuquerque and central New Mexico, it's going to be dry. Same thing for Chavez County, Quake County. Well, heat advisories in place for today. Seriously hot. Stay inside if you can. Take it easy and plenty of water for sure. Thousands of small campaign donations to a New Mexico congressional candidate include some from big Hollywood actors. Former CIA operative Valerie Plame's campaign contributions now have her in the financial lead. Among the donors, they are Breaking Bad actor Brian Cranston and actress Naomi Watts. Plame is running for Ben Ray Lujan seat in northern New Mexico. City's new one Albuquerque sculpture is so big, moving it to different events could be a problem. It's 17,000 pounds, and because of that, the sculpture more likely can't be placed on Civic Plaza with the parking garage underneath. No word on where the $44,000 sculpture will permanently stay just yet. Deputies are looking for thieves who stole from a New Mexico cemetery. The Baca family was visiting the Lemitar Cemetery when they realized that a tree that had been planted at a family member's gravesite had been dug up. Others reported similar thefts. The church that oversees the cemetery may start locking the property to keep the thieves out. We're looking ahead for you. Delta Airlines will start carrying overdose medication in the fall. The company made the decision to carry naloxone after a passenger tweeted that a man died aboard one of its flights. A Rio Rancho man is trying to return a World War II veteran, that is Re Re Burton R. Hale's belongings, back to his family. U.S. Navy veteran Richard Hassel says a woman recently dropped off these mementos to the American Legion Post 118 in Rio Rancho. They include a hand-signed letter from President Truman and at least a dozen photos. Act fast. Today's the last day to apply online for a spot in the National Anthem Auditions. New Mexico State Fair officials will be holding auditions for individuals or groups of five or less to sing at this year's rodeo. Auditions will be held next week. New Mexico United, they're looking for a win tonight as they host the English Premier League team. That is the Cardiff City FC. Now, the United are coming off a tough series of games with only one win and one tie in their last six matches. Tonight's game will not be at Isotopes Park, but instead at the UNM Soccer and Track Complex. Kickoff set for 7 p.m. Potter. Let's take a look at that traffic for the morning drive. Lots of green. Things are moving smoothly. So far, so good. Here's a look at that nice morning sunrise. Blue skies west on Gibson near Kirtland Air Force Base. Feels good outside right now, but the heat is on the way. Crystal? 
All right, on to more news for you this morning. Take a look at this video here. Dave & Buster is selling tickets for its upcoming sensory friendly day event. During the event, lights will be dimmed, extra noise will be turned down. Tickets range from 5 to 15 bucks. The event is on July 30th. If you want more details, go to our website. That's always on KRQE.com. Welcome back. It's time now for 5X. Start at number five here. A Rio Rancho man is on a mission to return a World War II veteran's belongings back to his family. U.S. Navy veteran Richard Hassel says a woman recently dropped off mementos to American Legion Post 118 in Rio Rancho. The drop-off included a hand-signed letter from President Sherman and at least a dozen photos of soldier Burton R. Hale. At number four this morning, the Socorro County Sheriff's Department is hoping that the public can help them track down thieves who stole from the Lemithar Cemetery. The Baca family says thieves took a tree that they had planted for a family member at the gravesite. Another family had a similar situation happen to them. It's that time of the year. Above average temperatures mean means dangerous heat in New Mexico. 98 degrees for Albuquerque high temperature. We have heat advisories in place for Quay County and Chavez County. Lots of water and just try to take it easy out there with these really warm temperatures. At number two, a massive new sculpture for the city called One Albuquerque is without a permanent home. Officials are not sure where to put it. That's because of the weight of the item, 17,000 pounds, heavier than they first thought. Now, because of that, the sculpture probably cannot be placed on top of Civic Plaza because of the parking garage underneath. Total cost of that sculpture was $44,000. On to number one now. This morning, police are asking you to be on the lookout for the people in these photos believed to be involved in a hit and run that left a 15 year old boy dead. This was a scene at the intersection of Coors and Allison, a vigil remembering the life of Cibola High student Manny Thapia. Police say he died after the truck hit him, then took off. This was shortly after midnight Wednesday morning. Thapia's mom says the boy was walking home from the movies after finishing up work at the mall.